talked a while ago about the concept of fantasy being difficult for me to do anything with. After that, I did some soul searching and it resulted with me tearing the flesh away from my skin and embracing the real way. Samata is a fantasy game about the religious servants of Enrato, the corpse god, a wandering creature of life and death trapped in an endless purgatory, spurning his followers to pursue a great work. Each great work that these blood cults follow is very different, however. The disciples of the corpse god are guided by Kaladun, the wandering god of stories and games, the GM, in their glorious quest to pursue their great work and their own destinies. But what about the game? It uses the 12v4 system first seen in Zombie Dark 30. The basic premise is that the disciples rule a number of d12s equal to their skill, counting every interval of 4 as a success. So if I have 3 in my travel score, I can rule 3d12 and can score up to 9 successes. That's the entire system at its core though, but things get a little bit more complicated from there. The disciples will have to figure out their anatomy, a set of statistics that are used to find their anima, bone, breath, flesh, and other aspects of themselves, because this is a game that is also inspired by the Riddle of Steel. Combat is having you make calls on your swings, stabs, and everything in between, attempting to strike enemies in vital regions. Your combat arts indicate the number of dice you'll be rolling for most combat situations. From there, your enemy will need to block, counter, dodge, or parry your blows. So let's say you swing a broadsword with two hands at the upper left body. A broadsword does 9 edge damage and costs 4 stamina to swing because you are managing how much stamina you're expending with swinging, dodging, and all those fancy tricks you're pulling off, right? Blocking has you protect yourself, countering lets you strike home or kill another with a mutual swing, dodging has you evade the blow, parrying turns away the blow, and doing nothing means man moding that shit with balls of steel. But let's say our hit with three successes. We're gonna do a total of 12 damage. Now we find the hit location from that swing arc. Let's say we hit the chest. The target will first reduce their flesh. If we slice through that, we're gonna make contact with the bone. Attacking with blades tears the flesh. Bashing someone's head in with a hammer breaks the bone. Let's say we manage to reduce flesh to zero. We've actually inflicted a mortal wound that's gonna eat their breath and anima away much, much faster. When breath reaches zero, you're dying. When your anima reaches zero, so you're dead. Of course, getting decapitated, suffering severe organ damage, or having other horrible situations such as your neck getting snapped may result in instantaneous violent death. Combat is as fast as it is deadly. One or two bad hits and you're bleeding to death or scrambling away as you've been partially disemboweled. This does encourage you to play dirty, play mean to get an edge out on tougher but still mortal enemies. But here's the secret. Emrato is a corpse god, but before his ascension, he was a doctor. You are both healers and killers. Healing and doctoring follows the same round-based structure, forcing the disciples to triage their many injuries based on severity and then apply treatment when they have the best chance available to them. Worst case scenario, you're operating in the dirt as your friend is gurgling on his own blood. Your combat arts are contrasted by your medical arts, with certain blood cults being adept at one or the other. A mixed group of warriors and healers can pursue a long, healthy life for each of them involved, but what are we actually doing this for? Orgon the sacred quintessence of life. Every enemy you fight, every ally you make, every slave you encounter or patrician you work for is filled with Orgon waiting to be harvested. But so what's so good about Orgon though? You have cancer, Orgon can cure it. Your arm is torn to shreds, Orgon can heal it. Your leg has been amputated, you can reattach it. You actually just die? Orgon can tear you from the cycle of reincarnation. Orgon is the ultimate elixir that solves everything. You just have to kill people People and harvest their organs for it. But any damage to those organs, skin, or anything else really reduces their quality. You see why I'm tracking all those body parts now. Every fight is a money fight. And that's Samada, more of a proof of concept for the 12v4 system. It proves that it can be used outside its initial premise, and even better, be stretched to do a bunch of weird shit. In play, Jesus, that's a lot of little numbers to keep track of. In ideal circumstances, battles are kept fast not by numbers, but by gambits and how lethal one or two strikes can be. Worse case scenario, battles are dragged on with no one hits anything. But I think the combat is functional, a concept at least, and the links are all below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. My name is Nopeda and on this was Sumata, a game where hacking people to death for medical supplies. Aim many thanks to the Panapolo Merchants Association for their continued support. Walk with Emrato and you will find your great work.